Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocklover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Equestria at War, playing as the Griffonian Empire. So last time, it was pretty darn chaotic, but this time, hopefully things start becoming a little better. Now, I've had a few suggestions that I should play as a rail, rail, the Yale Rectorate sometimes. Someday, sometime, wow. That is some hair, that is a wig, wow, that's amazing. Also, to pl someday play as Romao, who looks pretty... Roland. Ah, oh, the worst is over. And I've also had someone suggest that I play as the fancy Bronze Hill country. So, in time, perhaps, hopefully, I shall get to all those nations. Also, apparently, regarding the Griffonian Empire, people would have suggested that I play with the Old Guard and teach and use or play as the Duchess, because apparently a lot of people, some people, I mean, maybe not a lot, but some people have already played as an Archon, which is pronounced Archon, not Archon, Archon. So if I play as the Griffonian Empire again someday, not next, but someday, I will try to do the Duchess Path. You might need to help remind me, but do it sometime. So, right now, let's just keep going on. We are doing, or starting, a literacy campaign, which is really high in my book, because if I love increasing literacy. Anytime you say increase literacy, I'm thinking Victoria 2. You go to school, Victoria 2. I think that's awesome. Let's get ponies, or at least griffins in this case, able to read. Now we are the leader, leader of the Reich's Pact. We currently get 1.66 political power a day, which is pretty good. And last time we had some of these guys, especially the Strawberry Duchy, uh, rebel and basically leave the faction, the Reich's Pact, which is, which is unfortunate. Vasily, elected general secretary. Um, interesting. I don't really much remember much about this group. Nice. Very cool. Ooh. Incomplete industrialization and some food shortages. Now this tree, I think, last time I played, or the, when I played this originally, this is pretty much the same thing. Yeah, I remember Pioneer Organization. Yeah. Yeah, it's been so long since I've played as them. Ooh. Kronspitza. Kronspitza. Uh, yeah, you go right there. You know what? Actually, you guys could probably just do... That. There you go. So we have to deal with that for now. Now we could go to war with. Oh. County of Bronze Hill. Um. Well then. I guess they completely rebelled. But I'm joining here with my cat. My beautiful griffin cat. My beautiful griffin. Binky. Isn't that right, Bink? So basically, we're not going to be able to attack Bronze Hill now since they have basically rebelled against us. Oh, I'm looking small. I'm looking real small, man. I don't like this. Three research slots. Ooh. Let's get some more dispersed industry. We get I'll put some more stuff. And we need some manpower. Mechanical computing. Very nice. Let's grab some... It's 1,000. We can't do that yet. Reinforce it would be really great. Let's grab some of this. It's actually a Rilla. Rilla has capitulated. Cool. There's some wars going on, but I'm feeling here. Pretty kind of lacking. A little lack in here, not gonna lie. Barony, ooh, started a literacy campaign, great, great. I'm gonna grab that immediately. Ah, people can eventually start reading. Now, these texts are, these texts, these focuses, foci are still locked. We could do modern industrial methods, which seems pretty cool, seems pretty cool, but it doesn't strike me as I have to do it immediately. Hmm. Yeah, we're probably going to wait. Because even though I like this stuff, it's not mandatory. Wait, race-specific technology. You know, said by someone else in a different context, that could sound really odd, we'll say. Ooh, I like that one, though. Political power gain and monthly population. Mm. And das Griffonische Wirtschaftswunder. All right, cool. So we got some reading people. I don't want to do this because that hurts our consumer goods. Get more construction speed. Prepare for war. We could go to war economy, but that hurts our political power gain, so we don't want to do that. Two factories isn't really worth much. It's okay. Support the Reich's army, which isn't bad to do. No mercy sounds like fun. Reward the faithful. And... And Schlossenheit. Ooh. Land reform. Let's do some land reform first. So, Archon Arion claims that if we intend to save the common folk from the dirty claws of the nobility, we must first make sure that they actually own the land they work, even if the nobles themselves will oppose such a radical change. I intended a land to be shared by all griffins after all, so it's only pious to redistribute the lands by force. Oh, cool, we could do some stuff here. 
I like region-wide integration, but we don't need that yet. I'd like to get some more army XP, but I want to raise my conscription level. I, we need more manpower, and I'm thinking, would it be possible, f are we going to be able to raise our manpower or, or conscription law through a focus? And Romal's autonomy. Romal, yeah, Romal. Yes, yes. Cool. Political power gain. Awesome. That looks really good. So it looks like probably not. We get ooh, cores later on. That's really cool. Let's go ahead and just raise it. I think that'd be okay. There might be. Yeah, I'm just, next then we'll get is a military theorist probably. De oh, good. We get some debuffs to go bye bye. We'll get this guy next. 1.66 a day is. Actually, that's really good. Sabotage. Uh, we already had this yesterday, so we, I already read this event. So, if you want to read it, go right ahead. Limited conscription, that's fine. We are modern society. Has no other race but griffins. Very cool griffins. Very, very cool. We still have our guys here. Yeah. Not looking so good for us right now. Ooh, what is going on over here? So, this is the Knightly Order of Hellquill. Very cool. Very cool. It sounds like someone's trying to call me, but whatever on my phone. Pony Minorities. Okay. The Newland Act. Cool. The reformist in, in the government. Awesome. And what are we building? We're trying to build up some of this. Let's go ahead and rebuild that military factory. That'd be good to do first. We need a lot of guns. Some of this. Ooh. Marquasat of Westkeep has capitulated. Hmm. Army XP. I mean, I really want to change these knights so I can have more knights here. Oh, the successful revolution. Guarantee your rights. Okay, cool. That sounds that sounds like fun. Little do I know that might hurt me in the end. So special forces. We're not going to use mountaineers, probably. Artillery, would that hurt us? We cannot pair drop with using these guys. We can still... Oh, we still can't pair drop. Okay. Okay, then. Hmm... This, the knights give you more defense, a little more breakthrough with artillery, quite a bit more soft attack, and I like that soft attack quite a bit. Ooh, which one do I want? You get mm, a little more forward attack, a little bit less river movement. You know, I'm going to do it. Actually, how much artillery do we have? Oh, we, we have enough. It's fine. And it gives us an excuse to actually train our soldiers some more. Well, you're not them. Changelings claim Olenia. And that's a, that was someone else. That suggested that I should play as a changeling sometime. Which hopefully I will. Olenia does not bend. Oh well. There's not really much I can do about it. Cool, go ahead and do that. Oh, focus. Great. Land from Knights of Arcturus. Ooh. Three elite Imperial Knight Divisions. No mercy. Let's support the Rex Army. So, the Imperial Army has pledged its allegiance to the new regent. They believe that under the wise and determined guidance of Archon, Eros the Seventh. Grover's legacy can be restored once more. They are ready to march to the world's end to achieve this goal. All they need is someone to lead them to victory. Pony power, army XP. Oh, we get pony power there. Cool. Alright, now I did say I'm going to do this, so... Military theorist, Eggert Silverplume. Thank you for joining us. Actually, what's going on around here? It seems like they're changing more colors or something. I don't know. Oh, Flawina. The history. That's really cool that you can actually see the history in its own little text here. I think that's great. I think that's really, really great. Foreign claims. Huh. That's cool. Military training. And you're done training. You know what, actually? You are 14 combat width, which is... It's okay. You're 10 combat width, which is... Ugh. Let's see, which one is which? Panzer Division. 10. Panzer... Oh, this is a changeling one, I think, right? Is this a changeling one? That's, that's, that's not bad. Oh, I can't convert this one, so the t 14 we cannot convert. Can I convert you to... No. I cannot. Ooh, that's interesting. That's very quite interesting. How much artillery do we have? Yaki Yaki Plan. We can get some more artillery on these knights. Nice. I'm, hopefully we'll make these guys 40 combat with, like, 40 combat with special forces like this. Yes, please. Even though we do need to throw on artillery and stuff there. So the Imperial Literacy Campaign begins! While Grover V did much to improve the literacy rates within the Empire, his work was left unfinished by his unfortunate and untimely death. Now that order has been established and a determined region leads a nation, we can continue where he left off. 
The nursery campaigns have been initiated and education reformed extensively, with many new teachers hired especially from Yale. Schools are being built across the country and will be available for every Griffin regardless of class. While all this is a drain on the coffers, it will ultimately be worth it as an educated populace, as, which makes it a productive populace. More political power, better construction speed, we remove modest illiteracy with negligible illiteracy, oh, and more research. Yes, we shall be birthed anew. Now what do we do? Ooh. Subsidize? When you say subsidize, I'm thinking it costs me a lot of money in Victoria too. Anyways, I got some good old Griffonian coffee here as well. Reichswaffen. Hmm. I like the breakthrough. More soft attack is always nice. Defense? Huh. I, I love the little things that they give you. It's like... It's a little bit... Just, I don't know. Just a little bit more than what other mods might do for uh, this stuff. Maybe you want some more breakthrough? Maybe you want some more soft attack for your artillery? Maybe just a little bit more defense? It just gives you a minor bo boost, and I like it. I really like it. Tank-wise. Grießwagen. Light tanks. Medium tanks. Ooh, 10% armor. Ooh, 10% or 7%. Oh, oh. Don't make me choose, but even planes. Fighters. Oh, we're going to choose Adler Luftfahrt. I love the Luftfahrt. Mmm, and that's some good Griffonian coffee, my friends. Hope you're having a great day. I'm doing I'm doing alright myself. So, no mercy. To forgive the sinners and traitors is up to the gods. To send them to the gods is up to us. We have nothing less than absolute loyalty and devotion. Every Griff who is against us is against the restoration of the glorious empire. We gotta make sure we got 50 political power. And we're gonna lose some pony power, but you know, it's okay. It's totally okay. Oh, some of you guys are training, which is great. Sabotage. Something tells me we're gonna be end up at, end up in a war against these guys eventually. Uh, the River Coalition, of course, United Ponies Alliance, Changeling Hegemony. I always thought of that word as hegemony. Hegemony. Oh, we got the Carthinian Pact. Hmm, Carthinian, huh? United Ponies Alliance is down there as well. Concordat of a Southern Nations. Queen White Star Triumphs. What an odd monarchy. Oh, and there's a... What's a... Magrocracy? What the heck? Elysium. Silver Star. Grand Galloping Gala. The Pentarchy. Insane Weather. Fascist Gatherings. Nationalist Rhetoric. Sounds like a fun time. Wow, we're doing pretty well in stability in war sport now. I don't want to save my... Oh, look at that. So I want to save up my uh, political power a little bit. Improved machine tools. Great, great, great. I'd love to do more Griffin stuff. Factory output and dockyard. Mm -hmm. Cannons would be nice to do as well. Support companies. I love support companies so much. Ooh, we need some of that too. Anything other? We might need some armored cars eventually. But land doctrine. Oh, I'm just going to go with tried and truth since this is my first campaign here in Equestria for quite a while. So we're going to go down that path. I don't know if it's... I mean, it'll be okay. Won't be that bad. Go ahead and do that as well. How much support equipment do we have? Oh, we got plenty. Throw on the en engineers are just one of the core staples of any division. So important, at least in my mind. Incredibly important. No mercy. What was this one? Eh, that one can wait. So the Knights of Arcturus. The Knights of Arcturus, founded in 357, are the militant branch of the Arcturian Arcanite. Arcanate and have served the Empire faithfully for centuries. Seeing as how many of our people think they are nothing but a legend, Archon Proteus says it might be a good idea to not only expand their ranks, but form them into a proper fighting unit, ready to serve the Empire in the front lines. Great. Great, 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 great. Okay. Yeah, we could use more factories. I could do industrial stuff, but obviously I'm choosing not to. Ooh, actually. Katarin Principality, Angriver. Um... So who's around me? House? Why are there two, those two houses there? Changeling? Queendom? Queendom? Oh. Griffin's Mosh. So this is a Yale Rectorate. I thought that was Protectorate, but it's just Rectorate. Man, we say Rectorate, I'm thinking, hmm, I'm thinking something else. But whatever. Societal divides. Mild poverty. Good. School of Experimental Warfare. Yeah, we definitely need more stuff to hear. Imperial res Reservists. I like the idea, idea of them. That's good, that's good. What else we got here? Let's grab some of this. We're going to need some radio. 
How can you conduct war without radio? Well, not very well. Oh, we keep get. Oh wait, are you all training? Well, that's okay. You all can stop training. Shift and train. The fall of Vever Front. Changes are advancing. We got some construction too. We don't really have a navy, so I'm really going to kind of ignore that for now. Let's get some Adler planes. Adler fighters. Uh, we could improve working conditions, but already 92% is pretty good. Mm, military training. I have 20 more XP is good, but we can probably wait. Oh, we're not to go to war with these guys. They're still with us for now. Chrysalis recalls Attaché. Because of internal matters within the Changeling lands, the scientists, soldiers, advisors, and all related personnel of the Changeling Griffonian Expeditionary Mission are hereby ordered to return home at once by the decree of Queen Chrysalis. The message is simple. Written in a taciturn dialect of the t language the two distant nations share, yet profound in its meaning. For years, the Changelings insisting the Imperial Army and attached res research divisions have become a staple of life for those in the upper echelons of the command hierarchy, and now it is time for them to leave. The mood is unsurprisingly somber when the message is read aloud, both for what leaving means and for what awaits the changelings in their homeland. Zenovial, senior military commander of the mission, seems relieved at the news, as if a great weight had been lifted off his wings. His compatriot, Thranx, seems to have had the opposite reaction, falling into a depressive stupor that, led, that in turn lowers the mood of all those near him. The differing reactions have prompted one of the Imperial commanders who worked with the CGEM to voice the idea that they should throw a party for all the members of the mission to wish them fond farewells, for it would seem to be kind to let their last memories of the Griffonian Empire be happy ones. Uh, let's not make a fuss about this and send them off with stoicism. Thranx. Delete the template. A farewell party sounds just like the right thing. Sure, let's do that. Let's throw a party. And if you want to read this, I'm not going to read this just because it's, it takes forever, but, uh, you know, the party lasts up until the early dawn hours. Very cool. Uh... Archon Eros is the seventh overheard Imperial Army soldiers wishing their changing friends that they could keep help them out or even fight alongside them in whatever struggle awaited them back home. Hmm. The night will be long remembered as a rowdiest party in memory, and a true bright spot on the record of Imperial affairs. And a plea for asylum. Oh god, following the ordered return of the changing military mission back to Vesalopolis, General Thranx has now approached none other than Archon Eros the Seventh, begging him to let him stay in the Empire. They were immediately caught within the crossfire of other nobles and advisors. Some argue for, some against this plea for asylum. At the end, however, the choice was entirely up to the ruling Griffins themselves. As Thrax broke down in tears before them, the choice had to be made. Oh my goodness, I did not know we were going to get this emotional about this stuff. Um, under, un under a clear sky, the rising s empire reclaimed the north. It, it feels like this guy could be used for later on. I don't know what's going to happen to him, but... I don't want to do this, but he's under the jurisdiction of the Queen, so I'm sorry, my friend. I'm not sure what's going to happen to you, but I hope you didn't piss her off. But anyways, we could reward the faithful. What do we do with that? Hmm. So, the rulers of Southern Hitchland served us faithfully once, which is all good and true. Yet the new ward in the Empire cannot tolerate this loose decentralization and dissidence, for we must work all together closely for the good of the Empire. Thus. They shall receive a perfectly reasonable offer to either rejoin the Empire or suffer the consequences of unholy treason. I mean, they're already our vassals. Like, can we do anything else with them? Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm not really sure what we could do with them. I mean... Oh, Alenia was straight up annexed. Cool. Oh, we got these... Oh, good, good, good. And they even have artillery. Nice. Great. I'm going to convert you guys to these... Oh, that would... Oh, we're over special forces cap. Oh, then surrenders, sabotage, whatever. Cool. This is turning very interesting. Very, very interesting. Ah, the knights. I love the knights. Knights attack. Good. I want to make them even bigger, fatter, thicker. Electronics. Synthetic. Eh, that's not bad to do. I love the artillery attack. We're going to be using mostly infantry, so I'm going to Reichswaffen for that. That is bueno, my friends. Airy, airy feud ends. It's weirdest civil war ever. Oh. Huh. Huh. There's so many countries, I have no idea what's going on here. Nice. Do we have any others popped out? Nope. That's okay. Good, good, and train. I don't know what this focus is going to do since they're still part of our empire. You okay, Bink? You good, Griffin? He's a good Griffin. 
Mm, Oscar Silver Feather. Very good, very good. Alright, do we have any planes? Stalingrad and Our Town. Fine. So be it. Yeah, we definitely need more <laughs> military bases. And. Reward the Faithful. Cool. So now we can do some other stuff. Into the Lawns of Strawberry and Wine. March on the Vloigels. Oh, on these guys. Or these guys. So they're not in a faction. You guys are independent. A little bit of manpower. 3 to 13 divisions. Feather Street. Hmm. Hmm, 30 days. Are we ready for a war, perhaps? I mean, our stockpile says not really. These guys, though. Maybe? Maybe? Like. Let's do it. March on the Vloigels. What has our dear friend Gerlach done with the autonomy we have given them? Established a democratic parliament to pander to two Republican scum who his father had fought so hard to subdue. This rule by rabble has brought nothing but economic depression and disorder to Fathesia, which was once the crown jewel of Hersland. This betrayal shall be punished. Well, sounds like we're going to go to war pretty much now. Hopefully no one uh, joins up with them. But I do want to feature our soldiers here. And you're gonna do a spearhead. Well, kind of. I'll make sure you manually do a spearhead like that. Or something like that. Cool. Uh, hold on. I have you guys selected, but not you all. What the heck? Oh. Well, I guess they left us. Well then. That's not cool. And the obvious suspect. To no one's surprise, Baron Lear, the Vicious, and his followers have decided to defy us. While this was an expected result, it certainly won't stop us from taking what is rightly ours. Uh, let's deal with them. So, Rector Magnificus, Mil uh, Mikusian, and the scholars of Yodom, with their heads always in the clouds, have decided to deny our little request. All they wish is to be left alone to pursue their studies in peace. It seems then that Yale must rejoin the Empire by force. Oh, crap. I should not do that yet. You know what? Just in case, let's not do that just yet. Okay, then. Um, let's do something different, like modern industrial methods. Uh, industrial modernization has only just begun, and our country is hard working to improve its situation. We should invite foreign experts to teach us that only the best and most modern industrial methods. Yes. So, you guys, please stop doing that. We have just a few days before we must shatter the ranks of these enemies. And have a good time down here. Exactly. And how many days do we have before we need to do that? 12 days, good. Give us a little, little bit of a slow 12 days. Maybe. My apologies, I didn't mean for me to do that, but uh, I'm a Binky wanted to go get some water or something, I don't know. Maybe use the bathroom. Ah, oh, very good. Let's get it on the line. Five days, four days, three, two, good enough. Let's go. Now, it looks like we might be able to push, but I want to see what these guys are capable of. So, I want you guys to go up here. And then, without you, you're going to come right there. And without you guys, you're going to come right there. And then, you guys are going to go right there. Because you can. I want you to see these guys in action. Checkmate the universities. Yes, we don't have to do that. Nice. Nice. Actually. Um, we can't do this because we have to be at peace. Cool. Do I get cores on this area? Iron Imperial Control. Cool. Alright, well, it sounds like it's going to cost us quite a bit to keep them under control, which is unfortunate, but we do have a good surplus of infantry equipment. The Republican Dream, a few days ago, one of the most famous modern-day authors in the Griffonian Empire, Friedrich Winger, released his newest book called The Republican Dream. In the book, Winger looks back at the Republican Revolution inside the Griffonian Empire. He makes an effort to not only teach history, but also attempts to show that some of the Republican thoughts were quite and progressive for the time, and they could still be a valid and necessary addition to the imperial society today. After harsh backlash from the public, Vinker once again clarified that he supports the Crown and that does not, he does not affiliate himself with the Republic in any way. The book has so far been a moderate success in the Empire itself, but saw even greater success in other countries such as Aquilia. Aquilia. Cool. Yeah, these tanks, they move pretty fast. And I'm all here to get rid of one guy. Very cool. Now, we could probably just do a general push, but I do want to see what I can do here. Oh, uh, yeah, you guys can just do that. That's fine. And they're gone. Alright, everyone, get ready to go on the line. You're about to go crazy. 
with a little bit of air support. Because nothing says fun like completely decimating your opponent. Alright, my friends, have at thee. Yeah, we might not win up there, but that's okay. Just have a little bit of fun. We're just going to push, 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 push. Uh, actually, you know what? Get the tanks over here. Come there. Just, like, cut all these guys off. There you go. How dare they defy us, my friends. How dare they defy us. Beautiful. And superior firepower. We shall do delay doctor next. Or research or attack or whatever. Ah. Oh, I love it when the plan comes together. Oh, look at this. Modern industrial methods. War bonds? Actually, that could be pretty good for us to improve stuff. Mm, you know, we'll, we'll do war bonds. It lasts for 180 days. That's pretty good. It only cost us like 50 political power, so that's not bad. Ah, uh, Oscar. You're doing great. Uh, we could wait to go to war again. Or we could do... Uh, ooh, that's not bad. Expand the railway. Do we get more steel? Do we need more steel? No, we're good on steel. So let's do this one. The Reichswaffen Contract. Reichswaffen is the most prominent weapons manufacturer and was founded by a childhood friend of Grover IV. As such, the emperors have good relations with the company ever since. We should renew this friendship and our mutual ties to ensure that the empire does not, is not without claws. Absolutely. Claws that go. Shoot, shoot, pew, pew, bang, bang. Ah, oh, my friends, we're doing a great job, and I trust you all to do a wonderful job. That's not enough political power. I would love more. The Yale Rectorate is gone. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful. Next up, I'm going to have you guys do the same thing kind of right here. And push over here to encircle two divisions. Ah, uh, we have a radio. I love it. Get some research speech. Happy 1009, my friends. 1009. As next up, we will go to war with these folks. Actually, I know we have a focus to do this, but, uh... They're a commune. Ooh. That's, a lot, that's too many days. There is is guaranteeing the independence of Griefenmaschen. Griefmaschen? Where are these guys? Oh, so we killed them both at the same time. That's cool. It's not bad. Let's see. We got plenty of guns, which is good. What is our occupied territory and stuff like right now? Occupied territories. That's probably the purification. Mmm... That sounds very interesting, my friends. Very, very interesting. Brutal oppression? Okay. I can see that. I can see that. Let's grab some industrial concerns. We're just going to stoltz Baldwin. Cool. Now, these guys are definitely not any tougher. So, we're going to go to war as soon as we can against them. Now, that is an occupied state. How much resistance are we going to expect? Eh, a chunk of resistance. Let's go ahead and grab this. 170mm 170 Mein and Vefa and Blatau 7.65mm MG90. I said that's so English-like, even with just a slight German stuff. Early fought to us very good. Great. Keep making divisions so we can get and expand and make these divisions even better. Can we grab you and make you that? No, we cannot. Reichswaffen contract. Next up. Strike at Angrefer. Long has Angrefer suffered from tyranny and strife. The local republicans and anarchists have fermented unrest and the baron responded with draconian measures. It is clear they need the empire to come and restore sanity and order to their cursed land. And they shall be struck down. Oh, we can go. Oh, Katrinburg is right here. Katrinburg, you're led by the council. You should be under us. Recovering from madness, men, temple ties. A new commissariat. Oh, interesting. More divisions. Pop Proper, proper, propaganda push. Oscar, you're looking great. You're looking amazing, my friend. You should probably all rest up more, and we can build some more factory stuff. 40%, 100% infrastructure is the way to go, my friends. We need more manpower. Or pony power. Ooh, yeah, that's not good. I'm sure a lot of it is doing, uh... Oh, that's not good. We need military police. Wait, why are you guys over there like that? Uh, I could use you across the entire line. Oh, oh I put things around like that. That makes sense. Cool. Good. And we've gone to war with them immediately. Well, that's okay. Next up. Mm, develop the grants. Development grants. Consumer goods. Let's do that one. That looks pretty good. So, restore the Zentral Bank 
Griffinians. Uh, it was once the mightiest financial institution in Griffonia, which has fallen upon hard times due to the whole empire collapsing thing. If we're to be taken seriously as a global power again, it must be restored to its former glory. Yeah, absolutely. And that manpower is not looking good right now. Not gonna lie. That's looking pretty bad. Alright, so we're struggling a little bit here. That's okay. How did you go that way? Skyfall Republic, very nice. You all... You guys just gotta hang out. Stop attacking. Really gonna concentrate you here, which is what I originally wanted to do. Do that. You know what? We don't even have to attack that way. You stop. We don't have the manpower for this. You guys are doing okay. You know what? You all stop. Well, some of you guys are doing okay. You might be able to win there. Maybe you pull off. Well, I don't know. See what happens. Get the tank in there. Good. Yeah, really get the tank in there. The infantry, pretty weak still. Pretty weak. Oh. Amount of manpower of equipment. That's okay. We'll, we'll fix that. We'll fix that. You know what? How about we delete that division, but instead, we're done making these guys. Because I want to make these divisions even bigger. Save up on everything first. Save, save, save. Good, my friends. Good. You guys. Want we'll to come down here? Especially using tanks. We're going to come right here and move all the way down here and circle these guys. Good. Resistance. Oh, that makes sense. Resistance. Yeah. Cool. You guys come here. And then without you, come there. Without you, come there. I can already see that the light tanks are just going to be zoom, 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 zoom around there. Nice. Elias, you're doing a great job. Keep it up, my friend. Let's go ahead and raise conscript conscription again to extensive conscription. Great. Push, push, push. We've lost probably too many guys already. Yeah, we've lost 9,000, 10,000. That's a lot. That's that's too much in my opinion. That really is too much. Good. Give them tanks. Oh, do not get encircled, my friends. Oh, good. Now, let's make sure that they cannot move at all. It's just kind of adorable seeing how they, they trot along. That's, a, that's awesome. Good. Let them suffer. Uh, if you guys can come down there, that'd be great. Ah, oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Micromanagement does help. Great. Uh, we could do that. Uh, we get some factories. So, the out outright Byzantine imperial bureaucracy dealt with, we can start now start giving away development grants to prominent citizens in the hopes of stimulating the economy. Let's hope it works really well. Awesome. Alright, so we've lost relatively few compared to them. Which is a good thing. At this point, we could probably just do a general attack. But I want to have a little bit more fun with these guys first. Let everyone else kind of get to where they need to be first. Let them spread their lines out a little bit more. Good, my friends. Good. Now go ahead and attack. Just like that. Easy peasy. How many divisions do they have? 30 to 15, okay. Cecilia Marshdale's wounded, but that's okay. She'll be good. She'll be fine. Just do not get encircled, my friend. We do the encirclements here. Great. Now kill them off. Beat up that division, because you can. Well, maybe you can. Well, you don't get pierced, which is good. You're just kind of holding them there. Yeah, go ahead and hold. That's fine. Communism is banned wing Barty. Well, at least we can agree on something here. Communism is not a very good thing for uh, for the races. Which does sound a little weird when I say it like that. But regardless, whatever. Let's grab some uh, better guns. Ah, beautiful. And now one more. Just one more. Just one more little encirclement. Just, 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 just one more. I want to feel good about this, man. Maybe we've had a bad day. Maybe we want to feel good. Comet sided. Oh, no. This caused a panic among our nations. Some believe that the comet is an omen of the end of the world or the penalty for all of our deeds will come soon. The end is near. Oh, no. Why do I have so many stupid in my nation? Make a sacrifice to Ma! Make a sacrifice. Cool, are you guys all there? Pretty much. Awesome. Cool. Send our condolences with a long day in Vetter. Awesome. Now, go ahead and kill them. 
I just love the... I, I've said this before, but I just love the way they trot. I mean, that's amazing. That looks so good. Alright, you guys, just go ahead. It won't matter at this point. Griffin. Because this development grants are almost done. We want to hurry up and get to that as fast as possible. Nice. And take it, take it. Good. And they're done. And we got the capital done as well at the same time. Now I want this episode to go on just a little bit longer than normal. We can purify Catherine so no one will backstab us here. So... Yeah, ever since the revolution, Catherine was ruled by a mad princess, Dielza the Insane. Yet the Empire did nothing and allowed her to rule autonomously. The recent regent conflict meant that our attention remained focused elsewhere while the griffins of Catherine suffered. No more. Now we shall take care of Catherine once and for all. In 30 days, we will have the war goal. And hopefully a little bit more manpower because we're just going to start running out of things to use. we got plenty of guns, so... I don't mind doing this at least for one. Artillery-wise, we're not we're, we're pretty lacking. Pretty lacking. I'd love some recon, can't, but we can't really afford too much. All right, we can do that though. Good. And you guys are my special special group, in which we are going to cut off the southern front down here. Great. Neyumba ya Kashazani declared war on land. NR land. Okay, we're going to cut off the southern portion. We're going to cut off this portion. Populous civilized. Now that the education has been made compulsory for young griffins, literacy rates are increasing rapidly. Every young citizen has a duty of memorizing the imperial alphabet and learning to read many classics as well as the holy books. Teachers receive higher wages and their jobs are becoming increasingly respected, motivating many to study pedagogy. Every city, town, and village within the Empire now has a fully staffed school building. All of our work and investment is starting to finally bear fruit, as a recent survey demonstrates that even the poorest of the poor can read relatively well and write basic sentences. We are on our way to becoming a truly modern nation. Yes. Yes, we are a modern nation, my friends. We are. And I can't wait to go to war again. Hmm. Love it. You can go to war economy next. Oh, maybe we'll get some tank stuff. Medium? No, uh, I, I, I like medium tanks. Come on, let's go to war, let's go to war. We're doing really well. We can body and fascist seize parliament. Oh, boy. And then once we have that one done, we could fund southern universities. I want to curtail the universities. I would like to get cores. Yeah, I would go to war with those guys next. Which is fine. This is fun. This is a lot of fun. I'm, I'm enjoying myself, man. Great. Alright, so we're going to do what I said. Something like that. Two up there. Two up there. I should make more tanks. I love tanks. I almost... I usually don't use tanks too often, though. But next, we can focus on... Oh, what is preparing for war? Oh, that is war economy. Okay, we could do that later on. What is that? Oh. Oh, we can do this. Expansion plan. Imperial Air Force. Oh, that looks pretty good. Our changeling friends. A plot to... Oh. Huh. I should really pay attention to that. But oh well, I'm going to come this way. So, expand the Imperial Railway. Grover V's effort in creating an Imperial Railway was admirable, but he did not go far enough and merely created the backbone of a proper rail network. We should now honor his memory by continuing his work and connecting even more the most remote remote corners of the Empire with rail. Great. And you know what? Let's have a little bit of fun here. We can just go straight for the capital, pretty much. Um, you know what? You could probably just do a general attack, actually. As long as these guys do well. You always get down there and then get up there. Cut everyone off. Einfoot? Cool. Yeah, we cut these guys off, which is awesome. These guys will slowly die off, which is good. Take the supply base. Or what little supply they have down there. And get some radar. I love radar. Oh, look at that. They're all cut up here. I love it. Where's your capital? Katrinburg. Oh, we still, we still don't have Katrinburg, which is fine. Uh, you know, let time go on. I'm thinking we're doing pretty well since they have so, many, so much land to try to take out. They're, they're never going to get it done. Great. Oh my goodness, that was great. I'm I'm glad that this is one of the places that we can choose to start off with first. Which means next, then we can do end the Romal's autonomy. Oh, that's going to be right there. So, let's prepare ourselves for the next episode. So, really, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Even though this is episode 2, I'm really, really enjoying this campaign. And you know what? I hope you are as well. If you are, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we will try to break into Romau and unite more of the Griffonian Empire together. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.